Welcome to the ETG, an electronic troubleshooting guide for anyone interested in electronics, hosted by Mark Christopher. Hey there, electronic troubleshooters. I'm Mark Christopher, and this is the ETG. 5Redwine1 left a comment and was interested in learning about LCD monitors. Uh, he was uh, very specific on uh, power supplies. An LCD monitor uses a switching power supply. Switching power supplies are used in many devices. Uh, LCD monitors, standard monitors, computers, printers. Anytime they want to save energy, uh, they run more efficiently. They're also used when you want to increase the voltage. So let's say you're putting in a battery voltage of uh, 6 or 7 volts and you need 15 volts. That's a prime example of a switching power supply. They're also used in the generation of negative voltage. So if you're using an op amp that uses both positive and negative voltage, um, a switching power supply is ideal for that if you have a single source for your power, like a battery. Now I can't think of any better way of learning how to troubleshoot a switching power supply than to actually build one. I recently ran across uh, Dave Jones's uh, EEV blog uh, episode 110 and he goes into great detail on how to design one. He uses the MC34063 controller and it seems very simple to use. So I recommend you watch that video. In his explanation of the MC34063 uh, there are some math formulas uh, that are used to calculate the components, the inductor, the timing capacitor and the voltage divider and those formulas they look a little a little tough um, but I was thinking hey I can make that a lot simpler so I put it into a spreadsheet and I'm making that available on my website the link will be in the box down below it will be available in the open office format I totally support uh, open source uh, software and hardware. In fact, all of my projects to date are open source. For those of you that are diehard Microsoft users, I will provide a Microsoft Excel, XLS format, and that'll also be in the info box down below. I'm planning a future video, uh, an interactive video, uh, for troubleshooting of the switching power supply. It will step you through as you find and isolate your problems. Uh, so you'll go, you'll get to a point and I'll ask a question and then you'll divide off and into following a certain path. The links will be right in the video. You just have to click on them and they'll take you to the next video. As with all my videos, there will be a link or links after the credits that will guide you to other works that I have done and when available, the interactive course for troubleshooting switching power supplies. And thank you, 5Redwine1, for a little inspiration. Uh, this switching power supply troubleshooting guide is uh, inspired by you. I'm Mark Christopher, and this has been the ETG. Good night. Music by Kevin McLeod.